early game, uh, Kindred last game. Yep. How are they going to play around this nearly if if they're going to try and press up? Because it's so hard when this time around you've got the poppy into Echo Map portion of it. But Afromu making the early visit mid lane. He's got a night. It's not a thrash, but it is the Sona. Afromu oh, gets the thing. exhaust. He's going to have to flash yeah, forward flash and Q. power cord this. Do he's going to take one turret shot. He's oh! dead. Yeah, he gets it. Afromu's going to go down valiantly for first blood. So not worth it. <laughs> I want a mic check on that one. I'm going for it. I'm uh -oh. doing it. Camping Darshan again. This is something that worked for them earlier. Here comes the teleport to protect, though. And Darshan uh -huh. might die anyway. Looks like he may get out. No, the final hit from Karsa. Both mid and bot lane. It's been mostly the Kindred in his hands for these past games. Or that Graves seems to be a few got... clicks oh. off on the Nidalee. Oh, he just got and it's going to be clicks on by Karsa. Need to have that here only much earlier you know clg their motto this tournament has been the respect all fear none but their motto a couple of years ago was clear calls good plans or some some iteration of uh, that but darshan oh, go for it oh, one final hit their new motto is dive turrets don't care if i die yeah they have to map the plays and play they're trying to come in for flash rolls but clg oh, are closing gonna be in. big Spear not to start it off, so he can't mark Sword Art. Now they're on to NL. The spell shoot goes down, which means they can mark it. A great flash by NL, but it's going to be the mark from McSmithy. The spear lands, and he's able to finalize that kill. Where Flash Wolves just showed their whole hand, but now... Oh, Flashes what down. a beautiful play. That's where they keep going for it. Maple's never going to give up. He locks down who he... Afrim, who's forced to run out of that, and Flash Wolves... Almost answered once again. Uh, Smithy couldn't get into range to heal, but now who he's closing in... They are quite spread on this one. They're trying to have NL push bot as fast as possible, but they're not paying attention to the rest of the map. And Counter Logic Gaming start to waltz through the jungle. Now 2v1 on Karsa. Lamb's respite goes down, but it's only going to favor Counter Logic Afro Gaming. Afrim, who gets to walk back, and the shutdown of three kills goes to Stixay. It's a lot of power to be sitting on your back or sitting back with. Oh, oh coming in from flash on two. Forward. That didn't call it the Emperor's Divide just yet. And there's that teleport you called from Krepo. Darshan is right in the middle. They're trying to finalize it. And Maple's the first one to fall. That exhaust is down, and his flash was, and that's why he's on the ground. Seven to five here as CLG continue to take hold of this game. Six A by himself all the way too far forward. It looks like he's gonna get the boomerang once and oh, that's game over. Afro now getting picked off. It'd be safe to let him go down without trying to get anything back onto that. Stixay is just above, but it looks like... It's in the mid oh, it does not. CLG. Uh, here's a teleport that we're waiting on. See ya. Darshan coming in from behind. This isn't even on home guards. They just have the wards in the right spot to continue. It's very good, you know, for huddling and playing that. Well, they did not run away. Wait, who he just manned up? Who he actually the just support. won Surprise. by three. Karsa there. And obviously, CLG is going to say thank you very much. We'll take control of the bot side. And Mid everyone's side. dying for Flash Wolves off camp. What? This is the one window where Flash Wolves can commit. That's why, but it's an elaborate ruse. <laughs> Regretting that. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Are they going to. Ooh. ooh. That's a big cool down. Right He's just playing music for him. That's the hit. Smithy gets the steal. It was, was also it. two levels up once again, which makes the smite easier. And now they're going to be making their way in for this fight. Lamb's respite is down, and Karsa looks to follow. She even go back. Inhibitor turrets are falling, and the inhibitors are going to follow very soon. Yeah, base going to shambles here. CLG had a large lead. On top of that, the Baron don't even need to split 1-3-1. One, one. They can be 4-1, 0-5. They can go in any amount of numbers, as long as they're around who he is. He's wrecking some kids. Fizzled out here. I mean, same for CLG, though, the entire season, despite changing the roster two, here. So. Going in for the final team fight. This is going to be a go for bro. Flash Wolves looking to put everything on the table. Who he is the man under the Nexus turrets, and he will get shut down. But Counter Logic Gaming has full reign of the base, and they're taking down Flash Wolves. They're looking ahead now to that final day if they can drop the Nexus here. 15 to 7, coming up on 30 minutes, and they seem to be able to take one Nexus turret. Flash Wolves trying their damnedest to prevent this and stay alive for one last game, but it's not going to happen. SK. Telecom T1 will face Counter Logic Gaming at the midseason invitational finals for both teams to get their first chance at the championship.